Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In our previous lesson, we looked at the alert log. Then we looked at two ways to view the alert log. We viewed the alert log using the XML version and then we viewed it from the text-based version as well. Now today we are going to view the alert log using what is known as Automatic Diagnostic Repository Command Interpreter. That's ADROCI for short. Now, what is this utility? This utility is simply a command line utility, okay, that is part of the fault diagnosability infrastructure introduced in Oracle database from release 11G. And one of the things ADROCI enables you to do is to view diagnostic data within the ADRO and then to view health monitor reports and package incidents and problem information into a zip file for transmission to Oracle support. Okay, so to use this utility is very simple. All you need to do is on your terminal, just type ADROCI and you are on this utility. Like I told you, it's a command line tool. So everything you'll be doing here will be command line based. All right. So the next thing we want to do is to type show alerts. Now, it gives you the opportunity to choose from different options. Number one, if you type number one right now, it will take you straight to the location, DAG, RDBMS, or ORCL, ORCL. Okay, so let's choose that option and see what happens. Type option one. Good. And then it loads the alert log file, but in a command line version. Now, this is opening with something that looks like a VI editor. For some of you, uh, for those of you that do not know what AVI Editor is, um, you need to check some of my videos on Linux administration. I did a video on VI Editor. So this command line tool works just the same way the VI Editor works. Okay, so for us to actually get to the last line of this, we we'll use Shift and G. And we are the last line. Okay, so for you to search for for any word, all you need to do is to um, hit the question mark. Sorry, hit the question mark and then type for the word, let's say, start. And then it will take you to um, the first time or any word starts. And then if you use the, the forward slash, okay, and then type maybe a word, something like alter and enter, it will take you to the very first time you use the word say alter database if you use n to keep giving you the word alter now to exit from this page do shifts and column then type q and exclamation mark and enter now it brings you back to this place to select your option Type Q to quit the utility and then type exit to exit the utility. Now you can see that this is a lot more stressful to use. So a lot of persons would prefer using either the XML version or the text-based version. It's up to you to choose which one that best suits you. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video i hope it was interesting to you if it was kindly like it and share it widely and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out whenever i upload another valuable content and i'll see you in my next video bye for now